find the perimeter of this shape. So to help me out here, I'm going to have to remind myself of a circle formula, the circle formula for the circumference. Recall that the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. For rectangles, the perimeter is just to add up all the sides. Circumference we need to be a little bit more special with. <clears throat> okay, so when we're trying to do this problem, if we want to find the perimeter of this object, let's see, it's an order of feet, 93 feet and 70 feet, so this is probably like a racing track or something. We just simply need to add up all of the sides. So, in blue, we have a side that's up here and a side that's down here, and they're congruent because they're on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to have, for my final answer in my perimeter, I'm going to have a 93 from the top, and I'm going to have a 93 from the bottom. 93 feet and 93 feet. Now on the edges, as far as the perimeter goes, we don't have to count the part that's in the middle. We don't have to count this part right here. We need to count the actual part that would be along the edge. So we need this half a circle and this half a circle. So we have two halves of a circle. Now the formula for the circumference of a circle was 2 pi r. So in this circumstance we're actually going to have to look at this and not take the 70 which would be the diameter but we're going to have to divide that by 2 in order to see that the radius would be 35 because we want the radius not the diameter in order to calculate the circumference. And actually technically we don't even want the circumference, we want half of a circumference. So we're going to do circumference equals 2 times pi times 35 and then we're going to divide that by 2 because we only want one of the red pieces. We want one of them. So we'll get 2 times pi times 35 over 2. 2's reduce leaves me with 35 pi and so when I come over to my formula here I'll have plus 35 pi for one of the semicircles feet plus 35 pi for the other semicircle. So what's my final answer going to be? I'm just going to take a calculator out very quickly here. And using that calculator, I'm going to go 93 plus 93 plus 35 times 3.14 plus 35 times 3.14. And I should be getting an answer. It appears that I'm getting an answer of 405.8, and the units are feet. Okay, so why don't you try one on your own? Look at this one. Now this one only has one semicircle, so you're going to have to be a little bit more careful with it. But assuming you paused the video, gave it a shot, and tried it on your own, our perimeter here would be composed of three straight pieces, here, here, and here. And those pieces account for 16 inches plus 24 inches two of those because of the left and the right. Notice in order of inches, since these are inches, this is probably like a window or something like that. But we have in red a semicircle. So given that the diameter, the length down here was 16, so that means the length here must be 16, and therefore the radius would be half of that, which is 8. So the actual red length from here to here would be circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius of 8 which is equal to 16 pi but now we're going to divide that by 2 because I only need one semicircle the one that's in red so that's equal to 8 pi so over here on the end I'm going to add on an 8 pi amount of inches so again, grab a calculator, see what we get. We're going to use 3.14 for pi, and we have 16 plus 24 plus 24 plus 8 times pi, and I am getting an answer of 89.12 inches. Hopefully, you got the same.